Hey guys, back with the 2008 Ford Taurus. So every time I fill the tank, I get a gas smell until it goes down to a certain fuel level. I'm not getting any EVAP codes, but I'm curious where the leak is. So I've got a couple ideas. I don't know if we're going to find it, but I'm going to try using a smoker, but I'm not going to use the smoker. So I got my smoker hooked up here, but I'm actually going to use a flow gauge. Um, and if you've seen any of the other videos online, you'll notice that if you've got flow, it's going to be somewhere other than zero on this gauge. So I've got compressed air coming in at this fitting here. Um, we're gonna open this in a second, but the connection I'm gonna make is down here at the purge valve. So I've already kind of taken it off of the block because it's really difficult to get to. This is my connection, the red connection you see here. So there's two connections on this purge valve. One's on the top, one's on the bottom. The one on the top goes to the intake. I'm not worried about the intake. I'm worried about gas tank, canister, um, the canister vent in the back where the filter is, you know, I want to look and see if there's any leaks back there. So what I'm going to do is pump some air through here, no smoke. And we're going to take a look back there and see if we see anything, hear anything. I got a stethoscope. I'm going to listen. Um, and if we have to, we'll use some soapy water to see if we can find a leak. At the same time, we're going to monitor this flow gauge. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my my uh, open up my flow gauge here and what this is going to do is pressurize the system so give me one second get configured here okay so the flow setup i have compressed air coming in this is where my smoke is generated the smoke or air it will come through the flow gauge so right now i have it disconnected from the car just to show you guys what's going to happen so if i open this up you're going to see a flow if it's all sealed I've got no leak and it's going to stay at zero. So what I'm going to do is we're going to connect up to the car now. So now we're going to pressurize the system. I'm going to watch this flow gauge for a second. And if everything's sealed, this thing should actually start to come down to zero. See if we can get a better view for you. And then we'll speed up the, the film because this can take a little while to fill up the tank, fill up the vent. Okay, so we're at the bottom of the gauge. We're pretty much pressurized. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna to go to the back. I'm actually gonna remove the plug that I have on the, van on the canister um, just to show you um, Oh, basically expose a leak so you can see how that how to react when we disconnect those connections okay so we're into the car let's see if we can find that canister so here's our tank everything that looks silver here's our canister really tough to get in here sorry about the angle hopefully I'll drop the phone so here's the line that comes out of the comes out of the filter um, basically this is what um, filters the gasoline fumes so that it's not exposed to the environment. I plugged off both sides. This is the hose that would have been connected to the canister. I just took a piece of hose, plugged it up. So this is sealing off the system right now. This is just going open air. So right now we're pressurizing the tank. There's a couple other connections in here. Kind of tough to see, but you can see that white connector, that black connector. One's coming, so the black is coming from the front of the vehicle where I have the smoker hooked up. The whites go into the tank and then the tank and the filler neck and all those things. So while we're under here, here's our filler neck. Let me get my flashlight. And so what I'm not seeing is any liquid. I don't see any residue from gas. Everything looks pretty dirty under the air. Um, I've inspected the filler neck as much as I can. So the filler neck's gonna come through the body here. Eventually, if I can do this without the camera repositioning, it's going to go up into the top. It's a little corroded up there, but I don't think that's where my leak is, but we'll find out. Um, the other place I can look, and that's where I'm going next, is I want to look at the top of the tank where the fuel sending unit is. Um, on this vehicle, you don't need to drop the tank, which is really sweet. It's underneath the back seat. So that's where we're going next. Hey guys, before I go in the back seat, um, wanted to try something. So I got a stethoscope. 
listening. I'm listening for air. So I've disconnected the connection. This is used to assess engine noise and things like that, but I've disconnected it. This is hollow tubing at the end. So what I've done is I put it right here, put it right next to the gas cap. And then what I did was I opened the gas cap and you may even be able to hear this. I don't know, but we're going to listen. Probably couldn't hear that, but I can smell fumes. That, no, that tells me the system sealed off. So what I'm going to do is come back to my flow gauge, double check it. You can see we just created a leak. So that tells me the gas cap is actually sealing and do what it needs to do. So we definitely need to go into the seat, see what's going on. All right, to get the back seat out. There's these little clips. They're really tough to see. Where's my finger? Right there. See that black clip? Goes towards the driver's side. And then it lifts up, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. And then to get the to get the seat out, there's some clips in the back corners, okay? So basically what I've done is you push forward, lift up, and then you bring it out, and then it should come out for you. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so we got the back seat out. You'll notice there's two rubber discs. So this side here, I believe, is the fuel pump, fuel sending unit. So this just pulls up, okay? It isn't as dirty as I thought it might be. And on the other side, which we have a tube that runs through the tank, it's a transfer that goes over there. I believe the fuel gauge sending unit is on that side. So let me get to that side. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna pull this out as best we can, one-handed. Yeah, give me a second. Okay, so taking a look at this. I really don't see much going on. I don't know if you guys do. I mean, it's rusted. I don't see any residue of gas. Although, it's... I'm going to see if I can get this angle for you. It's kind of reversed on my end. If we look in here, it looks like this might be runoff right here. I don't know if that's coming from underside, coming up on top of the tank, but um, don't know. This side looks, to me, it looks like this might be the suspect side. That looks like a little moisture right there, a little circle. On the other side... Didn't see much there either. It's, you know, it's pretty dirty, pretty dry though. I'm gonna continue to inspect this, see if I find anything. I'm gonna get my stethoscope out, see if I can hear any air, air leaks, and then we'll be back. Ah, so, here's what I've done. I cleaned out where the O-ring surfaces are here. Sprayed some soapy water all the way around, you know. So this one down here, this one down here, this one over here. I'm not hearing anything. I'm not seeing bubbles. I cleaned, the, cleaned and did the same thing over here. Just trying to see if there's anything we can see, but I don't see anything. Those are the O-rings I'm talking about. I didn't see a darn thing. No soapy water bubbles. So, gonna put the seat back in. And we're going underneath the car, see if I can hear anything. What's interesting is I've held this thing under pressure the entire time. And my flow gauge stayed at zero. So this is with no compressed air going in. So it's holding, interesting. So. I don't know if the fuel, when we fill it up, is going through the canister in the back and saturating the foam that's inside of there. That's my guess. But I'm gonna go see if I can hear some things back there. Okay, so went underneath the car, checked a bunch of stuff, the canister, the fuel tank. I saw nothing. Uh, didn't hear any hissing, things still holding under pressure. So, you know, I don't wanna fill this thing up 
and then have to smell gas in the car, but I think that's what's going to have to happen. So I know we didn't get to um, a resolution, but hopefully this helps somebody troubleshoot their issues with their Ford. Um, and if it did, a like, a subscribe, that would be awesome. Um, if somebody's run into this issue and they know exactly what it is, hey, throw that in the comments for me. That would be super awesome so I can fix this. Um, cause right now I'm leaning more towards the canister filling up with gas when the, when it's full, um, either that or that one at one way valve they got in there, the rollover valve. I don't know if that thing's opening up and it's letting some fuel back into the fuel or neck, filler neck. I have no idea. Um, but if I figure it out, I'll, uh, I'll shoot another video and come back to you guys. So for now, you guys have a great one. Uh, I'll see you again another time. Hey guys, this is a follow-up to my earlier video, found my leak. Um, it is super small, so if you look really closely, you can see this moisture here. And I'm guessing it's probably this O-ring right here. It looks like, and it's tough to see. Looks like it's rolled a little bit in there, but it's not setting any kind of EVAP code. So. If I decide to fix it, I'll shoot that video. But right now, it's only when I fill the tank. And you can see it's a super small amount. So, hopefully this helps somebody. But it's kind of what we suspected. That there was something going on here. And that's what it looks like. So, for now, you guys have a great one.